What's up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac is at the brass spot. Got a rough start. Uh, batteries on the... That's the only thing that I really don't like about the... Uh, only one thing. I mean, everything else, it's, it's good. Is the, the Fly Sky uh, FS GT3Bs. Um, is they take eight AA batteries, so I don't know what happened. Maybe when it was in my bag or something, because I have you know my my uh, my RC bag. Matter of fact, that thing is beat to hell. <laughs> I beat the shit out of that thing, sewed it up. It's got freaking zip ties on the side. I mean, this thing has had it. So I seen one on eBay. It's a badass um, Oakley one. I might get, or uh, you know. They have TLR ones, but you know, I don't know. And I'm not going to spend $200 on a freaking RC bag. I mean, you, I, I can, I guess, but, yeah. Like I said, you know how the Muggy Maniac is. There's things that I think I would, I mean, it's not that I can't afford certain things. It's just a lot of times things that, um, that you know, I would rather uh, spend money on. You know what I'm saying? You know, a uh, shout-out to Justo. This guy's been busting my nuts constantly about getting the damn... Uh, comp air compressor um, I think I might I'm, I don't know when but I, I mean I'm gonna get one okay same thing with the camera guys are always on my ass about hey Muggy you need to get some but you know but I'm not I mean like I said Mr. Zah has been doing all this camera phone for his whole entire over 100,000 subscribers <laughs> you know what I'm saying granted he's you know got a top of line iPhone and I'm getting ready to upgrade this phone too so maybe that'll happen we'll see what happens I might get it, the new Samsung Note 10. It's supposed to be badass. It's not cheap, but you know, life is good. God is good all the time. You know, situation, you know, is, is man, I, I just count my blessings. If you guys, I don't, you know, I have to get too personal. If you guys only knew what, what I, where I've been and what I've seen, and man. <laughs> Which brings me, you know, my mom's actually coming out tomorrow. So that's why I'm trying to get a little brap in. I got to be to work in a couple hours. I'm like, you know what? I was almost ready to, you know, when, when the batteries died. And I'm like, shit. I got. I mean, I only live a block away. So I'm like, yeah, I got to go back to the pad. Get some, I was almost saying, say, you know what? Excuse my language. I was going to say, fuck it. But I'm saying, you know what? Hell no. I'm not going to let anything. Like I planned on, and I told you guys that I was going to get you guys some brap time. We got the sick ass Pico P3. Point twenty. I'm telling you, man, this motor is just, it was definitely a sleeper at 135 bucks. Doesn't come with, it doesn't have a turbo head, so it doesn't have a turbo plug. Standard glow plug, doesn't even come with a glow plug, okay? Um, you can't beat it, man. I mean, actually, price-wise, bang for buck, it is, it's, it's, for the price-wise, better than the Novarossi 28.8. But as far as the Nova's got the extra port on it, because it's only a 7 port, the Nova's got the better carburetor. But this thing, like I said, this P3, I've got another one. I oh, Man, they're hard to find right now. There was supposed to be a guy that was having a bunch of manufacturers. Who knows when that's going to happen? Connor Whipke, i got to hit him up. He hasn't got back to me yet on what that what the deal is. That guy was the one that was selling them. Um, I know Brewer got one. Um... I got one. I don't know who else got one. There were not a lot of people jumped on them. I don't know why. Like I said, nobody really knows about this P3, man. And I talked to Lance at RC Renew, and like I said, as you guys know, or I told you guys, he Lance made, he designed and, and did the designing and developing and, and manufacturing of Pico Motors for many, many years. So I'm very, very excited about as soon as I get that Nova in, and I think it'll be here sometime next week. As soon as I get it in, I'm sending that one, the OS.21 P Shooter OS Max, sending that one, and I'm sending that in that freaking lrp.32 that man if you guys want to keep it scrub action stock it's a lot of work okay it can be done uh, you know i could have kept it but it just it doesn't do anything for me it's it, the only motor and i'll set the record straight the only motor the muggy maniac will ever have in his arsenal of motors down the line when i have i don't know how many motors you know i'm trying to get six more modified by the end of this year you know um the only stock one I'll own, okay, is the Novarossi 28.8 Rex Legend. And that motor I got originally. And still, now that I got it back together, it's got a DLC coat of crank on it and ceramic bearing. So it's not completely stock, but it's still, as far as sleeve, piston, wear, it's bone stock. It's going back in this, in, in the, you know, the, the, I want to call this the muggy, but people are right. 
This is a this isn't a wannabe muggy. This is a truggy on steroids. Okay, that's what this is. Okay, this is no regular truggy. They called it a stadium. This is a truggy on steroids. I mean, this thing's a beast. Okay, this will smash on any freaking savage. This will smash on any um, LLT Losi. This thing, and it's not a rotor start, and it, it, it was a pull start, but this thing, at least, I could put back sealed back motors on it. Because if it wasn't for me, if I wasn't able to put a sealed back motor, uh, a motor with a sealed back on it, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even have this thing. After I blew that pull start, or and the, blew the motor and, and all the pull starts went through, I would have got rid of this thing. Yeah, I learned. It was my first. It's a scrub whip. That an RTR is not designed for a badass motor like this. <laughs> so I'm going to not try to push it too hard because I don't want to beat this knot out of it. Right now, I noticed that my steering is really weak. So we might have to do the drag racing style. We might floor it here and there and do like wide turns we'll see what happens i don't know what's going on um i mean it's uh-oh shit hear that oh shit and we're uh oh yep taking a shit look at that but as long as it ain't my throttle server i don't give a damn because they're running this bitch and that's that <laughs> i'm gonna run this thing until that servo just takes a shit I'd rather have the steering servo go out, and that's my last high-tech, too. Good riddance. Fuck high-tech, excuse my language. Savoxes, I don't have any issues with them. I mean, I have, but not lately. Knock on wood. Uh, I'm just those JX ones, I'm telling you, man. For the bang for the buck, for less than 50 bucks, you can't beat it, man. I have only had one that had an issue, but that was my fault. If you guys aren't setting your endpoints right, that's why you guys are smoking your servos. You got lipos, and your... And your uh, you're not setting your endpoints right then you know what i'm saying that's what's going to happen you're going to you're going to burn up servos but anyway this is an rtr scrub whip okay scrub whips are made for or stock motors are made for scrub whips not i didn't not call anybody scrub scrub whips okay so this is a scrub whip and it's going to not have a scrub motor in it we're going to put the 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 rex back in it i might run it to see what run it because i've got it it's in the Techno right now. It's got the Triton pipe on it. It's all ready to rock and roll this weekend. I'm um, seeing my mom Saturday. I got I got a three-day weekend, people. I'm freaking excited. Today's Brat Friday, so Brappy Friday to everybody. Let's get this bitch going. Okay, I don't got a lot of time. I got to get, get back and get ready for work and stuff. So without further ado, let, let's fire this thing up. Let's see what this thing's got. All right, because we don't got no steering. But who cares? Who needs, we don't need no. We don't need no stinking steering. Okay, let's see if this chuggy on steroids can hang. Fire this thing up. Like to run rich, especially modified. <laughs> Just hope this gearbox holds up. Sounds pretty healthy. Okay, you ready, people? 
Because we ain't got no steering here. Go pipe too. Oh yeah, by the way, I was gonna run the muzzle rims, but man, those things are just too heavy. Um, and they don't make them anymore, and I don't want to wear them completely bald. So we got the bad lands on here, 1178, and we have the uh, DE racing rims on here. By the way, I got another pair of Badlands coming, truggy and buggy. Remember, on the Badlands, the um, buggy ones are two different kinds. Uh-oh. Sound like something, something broke loose. Well, let's run it for a minute. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I heard something. Who knows? No boy, no left. We can't go left, so. <laughs> We're only going right, people. She's turning right only. <laughs> hey, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, right? Oh, hell yeah. This thing screams. I think this Pico wants to this really beat down this mug, the the XCM. We'll just make rights because we can't go left. <laughs> She wants to get pretty nasty though. Definitely. Come on, turn, turn. Come on, baby. Come back to daddy. Come on. <laughs> I'm turning it all the way. Come on. Come on. You can turn. Takes the whole damn field to turn. <laughs> If I can get her back. Man. <laughs> oh, the Pico wants to get nasty. 
I just got no steering and this thing just doesn't want to turn. Come on, baby. Zero steering, people. Oh, shit. She's running really good, though, right now. I think I've got it pretty dialed in. Like, this motor is just... I, I like this motor at probably as much as I do the, the Nova. I think it's idling kind of high. What do you think, people? The servo done?
<laughs> oh yeah, that bitch is history. Done like dinner. All right, so anyway, <clears throat> I think I've got an extra Savox at home, but I've got a couple JXs on their way, so we're gonna switch that out. I just wanted to get her out here a little bit. This Pico is just nasty, man. Um, but it, we'll we'll get it out again. We'll we'll get this Pico. This is the first time that I've ran a, like a like fully ran a modified, like a full on modified motor in this XTM freaking chuggy on steroids um you know this is also just, fyi people this was the only let me see it. oh look at that it, look at this the throttle's brapping i need to change the plug on the throttle now i mean on the the servo look at the servo's brapping brap brap <laughs> <laughs> it's like a two-stroke servo. <laughs> anyway, this Pico, okay, this is the only motor that I, that the Muggy owns. Not that I've got tons of them, but it's the only motor that I own that I never, uh, I never, um, broke. Oh, shit. I gotta unplug that shit. Hold on a minute, people. Die, servo, die. This is the only um, motor. This Pico P3.20 is the only motor that I never broke in. I got it, um, and I sent it right to Rick. The reason for is these Picos are really, really, really difficult to um, break in because they're so tight. The pinch is like crazy. I mean, this thing's got, you know, over two gallons through it. And it still gets, the piston still gets lodged up in the sleeve. <laughs> Just earlier, I had to put a screwdriver and pry it my flywheel to turn it. And this thing's got two gallons through it, man. So, people told me, listen, man, if you get that thing stock and you try to, you know, break it in, you know, uh, you're, you're, gonna, you're not even going to get, it's going to take you about two gallons through that. Dang, that thing is toast. That servo is done like dinner people you hear me toast I that's why I don't use uh whatchamacallits anymore um high sex I had a lot of issues with high man trust me I think you, I don't do I, I think I have a video of it I'll show you guys on the next time we do an upload maybe tonight when we kind of go over what's you know um I don't, there's not really the update I updated you guys already although Oh, yeah. Well, tonight, what we'll do when I get off work, I thought it's going to be late. I've got stuff set up in my uh, eBay account where I'm just going to start pulling triggers. I'm going to probably drop uh, at least 500 bucks tonight. I got two motors that I'm getting, including the Novorossi, three possibly, a couple more pipes. I got servos coming. Um... I might pick up a platform. It depends. I still haven't heard from that guy with the KO show yet. Or there's another guy that, that has a, te a, a Techno uh, NB 48.4. But they're coming out with... Um, oh, what the hell? Coming out with a new one. This motor slide? That's weird. My motor slid back. Oh, that's what happened. Too. Oh, that's weird the hell slid back a little anyway I'll have to see what the hell that's all about anyway this thing's filthy 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 nasty uh, but yeah so this Pico was the only motor that I never broke in I sent it to Rick so when I get my other one I'm getting another one just like this and the next one this this P3 here is obviously modded by Rick at RB Mods. He did an awesome job on it. But I'm going to send another one of these to Lance at RC Renew. Lance is going to mod these three first that I got sent him. Because we're going to compare Lance's mod against Rick's mod on the Novorossi 28.8 Rex Legends. Okay, we're talking modified. Now, stock is, you know, stock is for newbies. It's for scrubs. It's for beginners. Which is, scrub is the same thing as a beginner. 
So, you know, do I recommend stock motors to people? It's just to get your feel. But I mean, once you once you run stock motors a while, you you don't need to run stock motors forever. I mean, if that does something for you and that's good enough for you, then. <laughs> but I don't think really people know until they try a modified motor. It's just such a different feel. Like this Pico is just like, man. Even my Reds, my modified Reds, which I'm saving for either my new Kyosho buggy or my Techno uh, buggy, whichever one I decide to get, I'm going to throw that Reds in there. And that, that Reds will push these truggies around. That modified R5 Reds that I have that Rick modded, that thing's nasty. And it's a point twenty one. So I'm just, the whole thing is, you know, like I said, John Bodigel said next level is next level whips, not RTRs, and next level motors, which is not just going from a, you know, a shitty pull start or, or, a, or a roto start motor to an Italian. Next level, according to what, unless he's, unless I read it wrong, but he's even told me personally, a, a next level, I mean, when, when we, whenever we text, next level is next modified motors man modified the just stock motors don't do nothing for me anymore and like i said i didn't get it for a long time because mr zaz tried to get me well, i was like a year into the hobby a year back into nitro and he was trying to get me yeah man you got to get it you know a, a, not a modded 28.8 rex legend i'm like ah oh, i'm not really ready yet and all right but i'm telling you man it's the way to go it's next level next level. i'm like so, you know, and then when I ran the, the 28.8 Rex Legend, I'm like, what's wrong? This is a badass stock motor. But then when I ran mod, my modern motor for the first time, it's, it, there's nothing like it. Completely different. Different feel, different way it reacts. It's easier to tune. And that's the biggest thing <coughs> about modified motors I love. This thing, man, I didn't do nothing to it, man. This thing, again, I'll clean it up, do my normal cleaning. You know, piston bottom didn't sit there, blah, blah, all that. Don't touch any needles. And leave it and this thing will like run like a chop like run like a top for you know every time I take it out I just mess with the or just you know either lean the high ender or or rich in it that's it everything else it's good to go man this thing idles like all day long you know um, but yeah you know this this these modified motors man I recommend them if you can afford it you know I mean it, ex it is extra coin uh, but I can't wait to get my next three modded through Lance at RC Renew and compare his work against Rick's. You know, I, I got to see who's, who's, you know, who's who and what's what, you know. There's more, there's other people out there that mod too. I, I you know, I, I, not saying that Rick does a bad job. I love Rick's work, man. I have no complaints about Rick, Rick whatsoever. RB mods. I love the three motors he did for me. But I want to see what Lance can do. <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, so anyway, that's it. This thing here is, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it held up, man, except for the servo. This 14-year-old RTR scrub whip, which that's what an RTR is. If you have an RTR, even though I did all the upgrades to it, it's still an RTR at the core. It's a scrub. It's, it's a scrub whip. If you have a stock motor, it's a scrub motor, okay? It just means it's for newbies. It's for beginners. It's for people just getting their feet wet. But I recommend, man, get a race platform, build it, buy it used, whatever. You know, to me, a brand new vehicle, you know what it is? It's the one that I don't have yet, whether it's used or not. Used to you, brand new to me. I think Elite said that. I thought that was pretty cool. So I can't wait to get my brand new whip, even though it is used, my brand new buggy. Um, I might get a buggy and a truggy. At, you know, probably like I did the last two truggies, my Techno and my Mugen. They were a week apart. Uh, I'm just in the hunt right now, you know, I'm just, I want to finish off the year 2019 strong before I head into fifth scale and, uh, tackle a whole nother animal, a whole nother beast, and, uh, I'm excited about that too. Uh, matter of fact, I'll be doing an unboxing of my fifth scale vehicle in the next couple months, by the end of this year, so you guys will see it here. I don't still don't know where the hell I'm going to put it. You guys see my cave. By the way, that contest, man, like I said, whoever has the sickest, cleanest, OCD, most organized man cave is going to win another, I'm going to give away another one of my custom, custom muggy stands, just like I gave away one fifth. Shout out to one fifth. He said he loves the damn thing. He said it's awesome. By the way, go watch one fifth. He's got a video of, of his up, uh, an updated video coming in your way. He told me just a minute ago. Uh, shout out to Connor Whipke. Um... I want, I, I, if, you're, if you watch this, Connor, uh, hit me up. I send you a text. 
Want to see how that Pico Boost is going? I'm going to get a Pico Boost, too. I, I like Pico Motors, man. But this Pico Motor is just, it's nasty. I want to compare the Pico Boost against this thing. Because the Pico Boost, if you guys know or don't know, it's a five port. Mr. Zaha said the older Pico Boosts are better than the newer ones. But I don't know. I, I really don't go by what anybody says anymore. I got to experience it myself, you know. That, that's pretty much how, how it works in, in Nitro. Trial and error. But anyway, shout out to Elite uh, doing a drag racing thing. I'm sure I'll talk. We talked like once a week at least. Uh, shout out to Jess Joe. I haven't heard from him in a minute. I'm sure he's busy with the fam and everything. Um, I know he's got his cave. He's getting his cave in order, getting ready for the contest. But like I said, I'm going to give away one of these crate, one of these awesome stands right here. And I'm going to give away for the first time. And I still don't even know why I'm doing this. Um, just because I, I love this hobby so much and I want to give back. You know, too many people just take and take and take and they're in it for themselves and the views and what people think and, and public acceptance. You know me, I don't give a rat's ass. I could care less. I'm the least of people that care about subscribes and thumbs up and thumbs down. I tell you that all the time. But that doesn't give me an excuse to treat people the way that I have in the past and, and just, you know, not that I treated people bad, but I just think that I rubbed people the wrong way because of how I presented it to or how I, it's not what you say, it's how you how you say it. So I'm working on that. Mug is getting better, but that doesn't mean I'm going to put up with anybody's bullshit. Don't get that shit twisted. Doesn't mean the mug is going to get soft and he's not going to call people out. He's not going to throw people under the bus. I'm going to throw people under the bus when they deserve it. And I'm going to back the bus over, back up and finish them off. Okay. Don't get that twisted, people. The Muggy Maniac is not going to change that. I'm going to, you know, call people out when they need to be called out. But, you know, I I'm not going to be so critical. And, and I, people, do, do whichever you want. There's people that I've just cut ties with. People that I've blocked on my videos. Just, Sarah, Sarah, sayonara, see you later, adios amigos. You go do your thing, I go do my thing. Hey, if we meet up sometime in the end, cool. If not, oh well. Okay, and that's just the way the muggy's going to roll. I can't get caught up in what other people are doing, if they take my advice, if they don't, if they want to give me credit. And I don't give a shit. Don't give me credit. Okay, I don't need anybody's credit. But just keep your shit real. Give credit due where credit's due. I do all the time. You know? And I give criticism due where criticism do. Same thing. You know? And I'm not going to say treat others as you want to be treated and then turn around and treat people like shit. You know? That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about, hypocrites. There's a lot of hypocrites. And maybe, like I said, they're just not too ignorant to even know what hypocrite means. Because if they looked it up and know what it means and they're still doing that, there's some kind of, there's screws missing, man. They need to go get some medical uh, assistance. They need to get some, some therapy. They need to get some, you know, get some help, something. Because <laughs> if you know what something means and you're still doing the opposite of what it means or you're not practicing what you're preaching... You're being a hypocrite, then, man, who wants to watch you? But there's guys out there that have tons of subscribers, man. People are giving them thumbs up, kudos, and they're they're just phony balonies, full-on liars, bullshitters, and people, they're selling some bullshit, and you people out there are buying it by the freaking boatload. <laughs> that cracks me up. That, that that just shows me that there's that many hundreds of you pe YouTube people out there that are idiots and morons and now i'm just keeping that real like i said if the shoe fits then wear it if it doesn't apply to you then then let it fly don't worry about it you know i'm not talking to anybody in general i'm just saying in general a lot of 90 there's only out of the 500 i think there's only this is just me and i'll put this out there i believe there's 500 hardcore nitro um eight scale nitro people Okay, out of that 500, there's maybe 100 that only do fifth scale nitro only. They don't do E-word. They don't do, you know, drones. They don't do other, you know, remotes. Just straight nitro. Out of those 100, there's probably 50 of them or more that are hardcore tracks. Maybe more than that. And then out of those 50, there's maybe, maybe, and I'll highball it, 25 that are hardcore gearheads to the bone. I mean, these guys like to wrench. They have more, they get more out of wrenching than they do running their shit, like me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love running my shit, but I love wrenching on my shit too. I like tweaking and tuning and, and seeing how I can make my shit better. Taking care and taking pride in all this money that I put into these things and making it look badass and also perform badass. 
I like my shit to perform as good as it looks. <laughs> I like it to look bling bling. I like that shit to perform bling bling. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's just me. I'm just, I mean, I could be way off, but I'm just, that's what I see. That's just, that's about as, that, as real as I can keep it. So, you know, anyway, I got to get going. It's 930. I got to be at work in a couple hours, so I got to go clean this thing up and get ready for work. Uh, I'm starving like a hostage. All right, people. So that's all I got. Contest is coming up. Like I said, again, shout outs to the people that deserve shout outs. Fifth scale RC, one, or, um, one fifth RC, elite, uh, you know, um, just Joe, um, you know, Connor Whipke, you know, you know, these are my boys. These guys have got my back all the time. You know, they're not trying to stab me in the back and, and say one thing and do another and talk shit to me. These guys, we talk on the phone, we text, we Facebook, we messenger. We have a relationship um, that's just, we take, we, we, we go to war for each other. And that's, and if those are the only guys, those handful of guys that I just mentioned, that I ever have in this entire, my entire Nitro career, I'm good. I never expected none. Ain't even one would be okay. The fact that I've got, you know, five or six of them now that are personal friends of mine and I've never met and probably will never meet, that's pretty cool. That's all I need. Everything else, who cares? People, do what you want to do. Do what you want. Do what makes you happy. Like I keep saying, that's going to be my motto at the end of my videos. Not only set your shit bottom dead center, don't keep it lodged in the piston and jack up your, your, your shit. Make sure mine is. Okay. I just got to check mine. Hear that? This thing's got sick pinch. Look at that. This Pico's still this Pico's still not broken in, man. I think it seems like three gallons before this thing is just ready to go, ready to roll. <laughs> and it's already badass. But anyway, um, yeah. So not only put your piston bottom dead center when you're storing your shit, put some after on oil, but do whatever makes you happy. Do whatever you whatever floats your boat, whatever gets a smile on your face, whatever motivates you. Don't go by what I say or what I do. Don't live by my... Th these are things that work for me and things that I enjoy doing and that I just decide to share with people. You know, take it what you want. All these people that put thumbs down on my videos, man, I love those people, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to the thumbs down people, man. Kudos to you, man. Keep them coming. I love thumbs down, man. I think I had a record. I had like 20 thumbs down on a video. I've never seen that many thumbs down. I was like, yes. That was badass. That means the muggy's doing his job. <laughs> Calling people out, talking shit, keeping it real, and more importantly, backing up that shit. Not just talking out my ass, okay? And so as long as I keep them, keep them thumbs down coming, man. I love those people, man. I might give away a free gift for whoever puts the most thumbs downs on my videos or some shit like that. That would be cool. But anyway... Enough of my babbling. Let's get this video to you guys, and 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 I let me get about my business. Uh, Sunday or Monday, because I have Sunday and I have a three day weekend off. Uh, we're gonna get the MBX, um, uh, not the MBX. We're gonna get the Techno out there, and we're gonna see how that DLC coated crank and ceramic bearings, uh, how it, um, you know, if I see any difference in the uh, stock bone stock. Rex Legend 28.8. And I want to show you how a well maintained, a well broken in, a well cared for, okay, done the right way, stock, Noborossi 28.8, how that shit runs. You guys will see it. And uh, maybe Monday, maybe Monday we'll break out the buggy. I might even throw the modified reds in the, I might throw a modified, the Pico modified back in the, back in my MBX5. That <laughs> thing's nasty in there. Anyway, that's all I got, people. Muggy's out of here. Like I said, do what you want. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat. Man, whatever, whatever gets you going, man. You do your thing. Don't worry about what people say or what people think or how people, who cares? You be you. You do you. And that's all that matters. All right, people. That's all I got. Peace out.